So Dame Darcy, it's so great to be here with you at a House of Collection in Brooklyn. I'm really happy to be here for just as a quick starter. Can you talk a little bit about your outfit here? I got this dress in lovely Canada <laughs> when I was on tour um, and I kind of made it more my own little style. So I guess this is my own couture. It's lovely. I love your yes. outfit. And I know you're, you call your style something. I kind of consider myself a little hillbilly Rococo <laughs> because everything I do, I really want to look like some fantasy dream world Rococo thing, but I sort of make it all up as I go along. That's one of the things I that I love yeah. about you is your, your way with words. You have a really interesting way of pairing words together to describe your reality. <laughs> And that's how I've come to know you as a writer of all these books, graphic novels, illustrator, comic book artist, painter. You're a very creative person. You wear a lot of hats. You're a mermaid. I know you as a Gemini mermaid witch princess, I believe is how you <laughs> normally introduce yourself. But um, now you have this great new book. It's called Handbook for Hot Witches. And I know it's great because I looked at it and it, it just is really, I think, Plus one of my favorites. Plus you're on the cover, Delfino. And I'm on the cover. And... Um, <laughs> And um, so we're going to talk about your book today and why this book exists. Well, I've been uh, working really hard my whole life to improve myself and get better. And, you know, there really isn't anything out there for girls that really tells them to love who they look like or, you know, tries to help them manifest their creativity or to tap into their um, inner self, whatever that is, and to connect them with women from the past and their history. Um, and I don't really see anything out there like that. And if I can make a book like that for them, it will maybe uh, make it so that they don't have to spend all those years like suffering and searching and all that stuff and it can give them a good head start. And that's where the idea for this book came from. Can you tell me a little bit more about what people can find in this book? There's um, feminist fairy tales that are comics. Um, where I've changed the fairy tales so that instead of just waiting for a prince, you can enlighten yourself or wake yourself up or um, that kind of thing. I also did a lot of uh, vegetarian uh, recipes, doll crafting, and uh, a lot of meditation. A lot of the spells for manifesting things are really meditations because for whatever problem it is that you have, you also have inside yourself the key. Who are some of your favorite hot witches? I like Susan B. Anthony. She was she. What's really sad is she worked really hard for the women women's vote and suffragettes, but she ended up dying before she was ever even able to cast a vote. Mm -hmm. But you know, as a woman, especially during this time, you know, when the new presidency is coming up, um, it's really important just to vote it all, just because. Susan B. Anthony worked so hard to get us to this place that by voting, you're keeping her alive. Well, thank you very much for sharing this book with us. Since you're in New York, you're obviously here to promote your book and to do some events. Um, you can be seen October 11th at Forbidden Planet from 7 to 9 to do your book release party. Mm -hmm. And then on October 13th, you're going to be at um, Smart Clothes Gallery at 154 Stanton Street from about 6.30 to 9, something like that. Yes. And we can find more information about your book at damedarcy.com. Yes. And do you have anything else that you'd like to plug? Witches, not bitches. Frocks, not jocks. <laughs> My name is Jessica Delfino. We hope to see you guys at the events. You can find out more about Dame Darcy at damedarcy.com. And thank you very much for watching.